guys, it's Stacy again with another makeup tutorial. I am coming to you after the Colts just got their asses kicked by the Patriots, so. I mean, really? Did it have to be that big of a slaughtering? Really, New England? Seriously? What can you do? At least now I don't have to figure out something to sell to try to get tickets to the Super Bowl. Thank you, Colts, for making that easy on me. Anyway, um, today's tutorial is going to be on one of my favorite palettes, actually. It's my favorite of all three of the Naked palettes from Urban Decay. The Naked 3 looks like this. And then inside, it looks like this. Actually, let me just fold that back. There we go. Inside looks like this. You'll be seeing this a lot when I show you the colors that I'm using during the tutorial. But this is such a versatile palette and I really wanted to show you guys some of my favorite ways to use it. Wanted to show you that you can not only make a neutral look with it, but you can also create a darker smokier look, somewhere, you know, something somewhere in between. It's, it's very versatile. You can do a lot with it. And if you guys aren't familiar with the Naked palettes, they're from Urban Decay. The Naked 1 palette is more on the warm side of neutrals. And then the Naked 2 is more on the cool side. The Naked 3 is actually more of a rose toned palette, which at first when I heard they were coming out with the Naked 3 they explained it, I was like, how can you have a need for a third Naked palette? How much Naked can you really get, right? But when I started watching the tutorials and the reviews on it, I thought, okay, I have blue eyes and rose gold rosy tones tend to look really good with blue eyes and I saw some of the looks that were being done and I was like all right fine I'm gonna go ahead and get this I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get it and I don't regret it for a second it has become my favorite of all three palettes so if you guys have this palette you should really enjoy these tutorials the first look is more of a neutral just kind of everyday look the second look is a really cool cat eye that I I use the scotch tape method to make the cat eye and you don't actually even have to do liner. You use the darkest shade on the outer edges to make that cat eye. And then the last look is a very smoky look which I actually have on right now and I'll insert some pictures but you guys can see that. And I've actually had this on since about 4 o'clock this afternoon and it is 10.15 right now. There we go. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so let's get started. We're gonna take Max Paint Pot and Vintage Selection and we're gonna use that to prime our eyelids. This is my favorite paint pot. Ooh, nothing in the teeth. We're good to go this time. <laughs> um, so first we're gonna start with the Sigma E25 brush and we're going to put Limit in the crease and transition area. We're gonna build up this color slowly. Next, we're gonna take the same brush with Nooner, which is just a little bit darker of a matte shade for the transition area in the crease. Then we're gonna take a fluffy blending brush. I'm using the Sigma E40 and I'm going to blend that out. Blend that out a little bit more. Then with a flat shader brush, I'm gonna take Dust and put that on the lid. I'm using the MAC 239 brush. Then we're gonna go in with Nooner again in the crease, but I'm gonna use the Sigma E45 brush, which is a smaller, thinner version of the E40, so it's really good about getting diffuse color into a very precise place. So you can see I'm placing it just on the outside. Of the, um, of the outer V. Then I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Must Have Shader Brush in the color Strange and do my eyebrow highlight, or my brow bone highlight, and then clean up on the outer edges just a little bit. Going back in with that E40 brush, I'm gonna continue to blend because you can never blend too much. Blend, blend, blend. Then I'm gonna line my upper lash line with this brown color from Pacifica. It doesn't have to be pretty, it can be messy because we're gonna go back in with uh, the color factory and buff that out, smudge it out. So your line's not gonna be super precise, it's just gonna be kinda messy and kinda smoked out. And this brush that I'm using is the MAC 219 Pencil Brush. Now 
Next, going in with a Mali Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Espresso. Gonna line the bottom lash line. This eyeliner is so soft and so pigmented, it is wonderful. It goes on so easily. Then I'm also gonna blend it out with the same pencil brush. Oh, a little singing. Good thing you can't actually hear me singing. <laughs> I'm going to also smudge out the lower lash line with Factory and that same 219 brush. Then gonna repeat on the other side. Once you've got that nice and buffed out, then connect the top and the bottom using that pencil brush. Just going back and forth until you kind of connect the, the outer V and you make a, a solid line. It looks really cool when you do that. Then for mascara, I'm actually using um, a, a mascara that I don't use very often. It's by Physicians Formula and it's called the Organic Wear Fake Out Mascara in the color Ultra Black. You can see it has a synthetic, like a plastic, um, brush and I really like this mascara because number one it's good at separating and number two you can build it up you can build up the volume without clumping and clumping is a huge pet peeve of mine I do not like clumpy lashes I do not like spider lashes I'm um, next to line the lips going to use NYX's lip liner in natural and then for the lipstick using a matte color by Maybelline called touchable taupe this is a perfect color to go with this look because it's not too dark, but it's also not really, it's not a nude lip. Oh, but it really, really complements the, I think the whole entire Naked 3 palette. There you go. Get that hair going. And that is the first look for you. Time for look number two, the rosy cat eye. I'm gonna prime my lids and my lower lash line with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is one of my favorite eyelid primers. It is fantastic, worth every penny. Then, if you guys haven't seen me do the scotch tape trick before, take a piece of scotch tape, put it on your hand, peel it off a couple of times to take away a majority of the adhesive, and then stick it on the outside of the eye, just like you would where you would want a cat eye shape to be. Then we're going to do the same thing that we did in the previous tutorial with Limit and Nooner in the crease and the transition zone, except we're going to use the Sigma E40 this time instead of the E25. Blend that out. And then we're going to take the Sigma E25 blending brush with the color Black Heart. We're going to start to form the cat eye. So start from the outer edge where you would start your cat eye eyeliner. Bring that Black Heart in, getting lighter as you go toward the center of the lash line. Throughout this whole tutorial, I'll be going over this a few times to make it look exactly the way I want it to look. With a MAC 239 flat shader brush, I'm going to put the color Buzz on the middle third of the lid. Using that same brush and the color Dust, I'm going to put that in the inner third of the lid. This color you want to really pack on because it is beautiful, but it does take some effort to get the color payoff that you want. Again, like I said, going back over that cat eye part with black heart, and then going back over dust. Then I'm going to take the 239 brush and the color Strange, highlight my brow bone, then blend that out with the E40 brush. Then for a little bit more precise, of an application and to get it just a little bit darker after I'm done blending this, I'm going to take that 239 brush with black heart and very precisely go over that cat eye part again until I've got it the way I want it to look. Peel the tape off and there you have it. Then just take a clean blending brush or any kind of clean fluffy brush and wipe off any of that fallout. Now taking a 219 pencil brush from MAC and the color Black Heart, I'm lining the lower lash line 
and then blending that out with the E25 brush. Using my very favorite mascara from the drugstore, the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara in Carbon Black. Putting mascara on the upper and the lower lash line. There you have it. Beautiful cat eye. Now for the lipstick, a Maybelline Matte Color in Touch of Spice. This is a beautiful color. Gonna make sure to get every little bit of that fallout off with the fluffy brush, and that is it. This is a really easy look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Hey again, what's up, guys? So I already did my eyebrows, and I used a MAC 265E brush with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe just FYI. Then I'm going to prime my eyelids again with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Those eyelids in just below the lower lash line. I'm going to start with this C476 shader brush from Crown Brushes. I got this in my Etsy bag and I love it. I'm going to take the color Strange this time and I'm going to go over pretty much the entire lid from, from brow down to lash line because I want to make sure that these transition shades blend more easily. So we're taking the Sigma E25 brush with the color limit, just like we did the last time. Going over that transition zone. Then we're taking Nooner, doing the same thing. Darkening up the transition zone. I found that if I don't put some eyeshadow down after I put the primer on, sometimes these colors tend to stick in places and they don't blend as well. Yeah, get it, girl, get it. What is it, alligator? <laughs> Do you not like this song? A little good, isn't it? I know. Yeah, y'all know me. All right, moving on. Using the Sigma E40 blending brush. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to go back in with Limit, and I'm going to continue to blend out that, that dark color Nooner. Then I'm going to take NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Black Bean, and I'm going to put that on my lid only, being very careful to keep it in the area that I want it. I have to do one eye at a time and then blend it because this stuff, once it sets, it sets. Then I'm going to use the brush that came with the palette, the Naked 3 Double Ended Synthetic Flat Shader Brush, to blend out the cream product. Synthetic brushes tend to work better whenever you're working with the cream product, so that's why I chose this one. So doing the same thing to the other eye, just blend that out, and then taking the MAC 239 Flat Shader Brush, I'm going to use both dark side, dark side first, and then Black Heart to just pack on that dark color on the lid, right on top of that black bean. This method will make your makeup stay for hours and hours and hours. And you'll get the most color payoff from the dark colors as well. So as you can see, this looks like a hot mess. That's why we're going to blend, blend, blend again. So taking the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, I'm going to go in with Buzz. And I'm going to blend that into the crease. This is going to smooth out that rough edge between the black heart and the transition zone with the limit and the nooner. Then taking a Morphe B72 brush and the color dust, I'm going to put that on the inner corner to highlight the inner corner. And we're going to go back in with a different blending brush, the Morphe B79. I was able to go to the Morphe store in Burbank when I was there the last time. It is amazing, you guys. If you have a chance to go there, it is, it's like heaven. It's like a playground for makeup junkies. Absolutely love it. And I managed to pick up the Jaclyn Hill palette too, which I was really pumped about. Anyway, going back in with some Buzz and that Morphe brush. Going to keep on blending. And then we're going to dust away all that fallout. 
Then with the MAC 219 pencil brush, taking the color buzz, we're going to go to the lower lash line, buff that out. Then taking the Morphe B72 brush, I'm going to further buff that out. And since it's a little bit of a bigger brush, it's going to diffuse that color down a little bit lower, which is what I'm going for with this look. Next, taking the Urban Decay Eyeliner in Perversion, I'm going to line very close to the lashes. And then I'm going to buff that out with the color Black Heart and my 219 Pencil Brush by MAC. Next, for the upper and the lower waterline, I'm going to use one of my favorite black eyeliners by Cynthia Rowley. I got this in a birch box once. I got a small sample of it and fell in love with it, and I went ahead and ordered the regular size one. It is so creamy, so pigmented. It glides on so easily. It is amazing, you guys. You should definitely try it. Every time I line my waterline, it causes my eyes to water, so I'm just taking a Q-tip and just blotting the tears around my eyes. Then taking the brush I usually use for my highlight, I'm highlighting the brow bone with the color strange and then cleaning up that outside corner just a little bit. Using the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition in Carbon Black, again you guys know my favorite drugstore mascara, to put some mascara on the upper and lower lashes, beautiful. Then I'm going to line my lips with MAC Lip Liner in the color Swirl, I'm sorry, Whirl, not Swirl, in the color Whirl. This color has been made famous by Kylie Jenner. She lines her lips and fills them in just like this and that's all she wears, which I'm a fan of as well. Take that hair down and we are good to go. There is your smoky eye. If you're intimidated by a smoky eye or scared, don't think you can do it, this method is perfect for you. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have an awesome rest of your day. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.